Hi YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Patrick. Today we're going to talk about why PowerShell is the best commands line shell that you can have on any system. So with that being said, let's dig right in. PowerShell is a special kind of commands line shell. You see, I have a few reasons for why I prefer it to something like Bash or ZSH, and my first reason being that uh, PowerShell uses objects instead of text. So whenever you're piping information between PowerShell commands, it's actually passing over a full .NET object, and it maintains its properties and methods when it's being copied over. Uh, so this means that you spend a lot less time formatting text and parsing text and more time actually doing the things that you are trying to do. The object-oriented nature of PowerShell makes it really powerful to work with. It's very simple for you to query an object and see what methods and properties it can contains and it's very easy to string these things together. I think that it's easier to write scripts on PowerShell than it is on something like Bash, simply because of the, uh, the fact that it, objects are just that, objects, .NET objects with fully featured features. There's nothing wrong with a terminal that can only pass along text between commands. However, it is extremely limiting when compared to something like the object-oriented nature of PowerShell. All right, and my second reason for why PowerShell is such a good shell is sysadmin stuff. So hear me out. With Bash, Bash relies a lot on distribution-provided tools on Linux, uh, like the package manager. That's not a part of Bash, that's a part of the distribution. Uh, however, PowerShell has all of these functions and features natively. It doesn't rely on any third-party programs to provide functionality. Now, you can download new modules from something like the PowerShell gallery, uh, but it, it doesn't have the same problems. And also, something great about PowerShell is that it can be used to manage every Microsoft product. Like, if there's a Microsoft product out there, it, I bet good money that you can manage it using PowerShell. Like, I'm talking Azure, Microsoft 365, Windows. Uh, every platform that Microsoft has, you can manage it with PowerShell. And this is really powerful. Because the thing about Bash is that it's very limited to the idea of a, a single system. I mean, there are things like Ansible and Terraform that can kind of retrofit around Bash and make it more usable at scale. Uh, and I mean, there's plenty of native Bash functions that could be used. I mean, you could just make a for loop that loops through IP addresses. But my point is that it's much easier to do that type of stuff on PowerShell. Also, have you noticed that you can't really change every setting in your desktop environment with your shell on Linux? like your commands line shell. Yeah, you can't go in there and tweak every single setting by running commands in the commands line, but with Windows, you can tweak each and every setting using PowerShell commands. Microsoft does not add new features to Windows without giving you a way to manage it using PowerShell. Uh, that level of discipline is rare for something from Microsoft. And let me be clear in all of this, like I'm not a Microsoft fanboy. Right, I would vastly prefer if everybody used Linux and open source solutions. Uh, that's the perfect world that I want to live in. But I live in reality, and here in reality, businesses in my area all pretty much rely on the Microsoft stack. And so, because of that, I've based my career off Microsoft's technologies. So I do feel like I have a certain advantage in comparing these things. I think I'm well suited to make the call between which commands line shell is better. And of course, all this is my opinion, right? At the end of the day, these are tools that you use to perform a job, right? There are some circumstances where Bash is the correct tool to use, and there are other circumstances where PowerShell is the correct tool to use. You see, you should never limit yourself with brand's loyalty, right? Like, you shouldn't ever put yourself in a box because you're super loyal to a specific brand. That's what they want to do, that's how they get you locked in, and the thing that you can do that's best for yourself 
is to stay stay varied. You know, understand a, a breadth and depth of technology. But yeah, my, anyway, my point is that managing infrastructure in general and at scale is easier to do with PowerShell than it is with Bash. With Bash, you're going to be making a lot of your own tooling, uh, which isn't a bad thing. Like I said, there are circumstances where that's what you want, uh, but it's just easier with PowerShell to do sysadmin stuff. And my final point, and probably the most controversial, is that the syntax that PowerShell uses is actually really good. <laughs> so a lot of people say they don't like how verbose PowerShell is. They say they don't like the fact that you have to type out long commands names to call up modules. However, have you heard of the tab key? <laughs> the tab key works great. Uh, I'm just saying, like, I don't, I don't get that argument. Like, you're, you should never be typing out the entire name of the module that you're calling. Like, you should always use the tab key to autocomplete it. Like, it just makes your life easier. Also, you know, there are times where I have to show a script or a set of commands to somebody who's maybe not so technical. And when this happens, you see, with Bash, if you hand someone a complicated bash command that's like awking and grepping through text and piping it to other things, like it's going to be confusing for someone who's not technical, but because of the super verbose nature of PowerShell, you can show a lot of PowerShell scripts in low complexity, but you can show PowerShell scripts to a non-technical person, and they'll be able to get a general idea of what's going on with it. Uh, so, in that sense, I think PowerShell is better for non-technical people understanding what's going on. So, remember, like I said, at the end of the day, uh, these things are tools, and you should use the right tool for the job. There are going to be times where Bash is the correct tool, and there are going to be times where PowerShell is the correct tool. You should know both of them. You know, it's... Learning shell scripting languages is not that difficult. Like, once you understand one, you kind of have the groundwork for all the other ones in your head. So, I mean, don't limit yourself to just Bash or PowerShell. Like, yes, I do set PowerShell as the default shell on all of my Linux boxes. That's just because I prefer PowerShell to something like Bash. However, don't, don't let loyalty to a brand, even an open source situation, don't even let that spoil your mind and your preferences. But yeah, in my opinion, PowerShell, way better than Bash. Uh, it, leave a comment down below, maybe you can change my mind. Bye.